and welcome back to my channel uh, today I want to do a new video always regarding uh, uh, the dark room equipment uh, because uh, as far as many of you know uh, I had to move out so I don't have my dark room equipment with me anymore and therefore I have spent like the last two years without uh, any kind of dark room equipment but now we are in lockdown because uh, of coronavirus, as everybody knows. And uh, I was just thinking, uh, why well, just not come back uh, to the dark room techniques uh, if you are, if you have to stay home. So I was just thinking, what was the best investment for me right now? And uh, I think that the cheapest one, and at the same time the more convenient one, is gonna be buying the equipment for developing the black and white uh, uh, films. Uh, that's because I really care about the film itself, uh, because it's the most important part of the overall process, as I, I've already said, uh, because uh, uh, the film just include uh, uh, the time to shoot the pictures and uh, at the same time if uh, I get wrong in a print I can always uh, have another copy of that print so it's fine I can always have a second chance but with the films no the films it's the picture itself so I just get to develop in by myself all my pictures so because I had to spend a lot of time here in my house I had decided just to buy some equipment and uh, uh, the, the option that I have found online were just starting kit for black and white prints and I have choose one of those I had choose the one that for me was the most completed one but at the same time, so are you gonna see through the video? Uh, for me, this kit is now 100% complete. There are still some little items that we need, but it, they are not included here. So, the, I, I have received three boxes. I have ordered actually and paid for three boxes. And uh, this is the first one and this is the most important one uh, so without this you cannot develop a uh, black and white film for sure so uh, as you can see this is uh, a kit made by Ilford and the Patterson brand and uh, the kit is called PTP574 so I want to do an unboxing with you and see what uh, is inside. So let's get started. So the kit, as you can see, is really compact. So it means that also developing uh, um, films is more uh, space saver than uh, like printing because uh, uh, like uh, just a larger is gonna be uh, um, larger than this uh, box so if you really have uh, um, spaces uh, issues uh, it's always better just uh, developing the films and just uh, and uh, after that uh, uh, just buy a good scanner and at least you have the films so this box is really compact and uh, oh, seriously include almost everything uh, so let's see immediately what are the items so as first most important element we need one tank where to put our film with the solution the chemical solution and developing our um, films so this is the Patterson one is the super system for universal de developing uh, tank um, this is just uh, a classical one, uh, you can see also in uh, my previous video uh, where I am developing uh, my, uh, some black and white films 
uh, at the same time where I explained to you what was my uh, equipment in my previous dark room. Um, so the the Patterson tank uh, is always the same as uh, like so one lead to close when we need to do the agitation and uh, then uh, we have this road that we need to put here if uh, we require the rotation movement for example if you want to develop uh, uh, colors colors films uh, we need to do rotation so this uh, road is really helpful in that case but we are here for black and white uh, but just remember that the tank is going to be always the same even if you want to develop a color so you always need uh, one element uh, exactly like this one then now uh, we need a second lead uh, where this one is the one that uh, allows uh, the film to be uh, light protected and uh, so we have this lead and then uh, we take out uh, from uh, inside this other road with two spirals where we are going to put our films inside. Uh, after that, in this kit, we have uh, uh, a thermometer. Uh, this, is the, this is always from Patterson, as you can see. And just keep in mind that Patterson has two different thermometers. In, um, in its equipment and one is specific for black and white films and the other one is specific for colors. This one is the black and white uh, one because uh, uh, it goes from 13 Celsius degrees to 30 um, Celsius degrees and um, uh, they say that this one is specific for black and white, it's, it's not appropriate for colors just because uh, usually colors uh, chemicals work uh, uh, with like uh, 38 Celsius degrees so they are gonna say that uh, you need uh, another uh, item but uh, it's also true that uh, some uh, chemicals can work also with 30 degrees and so uh, you can, if you want to work at 30 degrees, you can always use also this thermometer. But uh, for Patterson, this is a specific for black and white. Uh, then what do we have? So we have uh, these clips, film clips. I don't know actually why we have four. I think that uh, probably it's gonna be to use it uh, as a weight because uh, when uh, so we need the clips uh, to dry our films uh, after we have developing uh, them and um, we are gonna hang the film on one side but uh, because the film itself has been raw in uh, its case for a long time it's logical to think that uh, even when it's uh, drying, it's just gonna still keep uh, have the spiral uh, idea, the spiral shape. So to have uh, everything uh, um, uh, like flat, we just need a weight on the other side of the, the film. And so probably one box is for the top part and the other box is for the bottom part of the drying face. Then what we have, okay, uh, interesting, we have uh, three uh, graduate uh, uh, cylinder, yeah, and they are all the same. So they are 600 milliliters. They are all from Patterson. I'm gonna open just one box. And uh, the, the Patterson has decided to put uh, 600 
because uh, uh, if you check on, on the bottom part of this tank you can read uh, how many uh, um, how much liquid you need for developing the films and uh, he said that for 35 millimeters you, you need uh, uh, 290 milliliters so it means that if you're gonna do two films is it you need uh, um, 580 and so with 600 you're more than inside and then for the 120 you just need 500 milliliters and in this tank you can develop just one uh, um, medium format uh, it's gonna be like that so there is no space for a second one so with the six millimeter, six hundred millimeters, uh, you're gonna include also uh, medium format uh, uh, films if you want to. Another curious part is just that uh, we have uh, three uh, identical cylinder, and it's this is really curious. I don't know if uh, uh, I, I, in my mind I have only two explanation. One is just that after you preparing the first solution, uh, what I usually do is just taking one bottle from beverage, the everyday one, and uh, just fill that bottle, obviously after having cleaned it. But uh, in this case, uh, if we have three, we can just prepare one with a mm, developer, one with a stop, and one with a fixer, so we don't need the, the bottles. Or, on the other end, another reason can be that uh, this kit is thinking is uh, thought for beginners. So, if you are a beginner, just keep in mind that it's really important that if you use just one, you're gonna go exactly in this uh, order. So you're gonna prepare first of all the developer, secondly the stop bath, and uh, as a last uh, um, solution you prepare the fixer. You cannot mix it, you cannot start from the fixer and then the developer etc. Nothing like that is acceptable because uh, every type uh, of solution just uh, uh, is important because uh, um, it just uh, like delete or stops the previous one uh, uh, action. So if you prepare the sort of the chemical solution exactly in the correct order that you're gonna do use uh, for developing, you're safe because the stop bath is gonna stop the developer action and, uh, and so you can keep on but if you're gonna mix like preparing the fixing and after that you use the same cylinder to prepare in, um, the developer uh, your developer is gonna be uh, like polluted so you cannot use it anymore no one is gonna show that the action of that developer is gonna be like uh, the test has said uh, in the laboratory so just keep in mind that uh, if you're gonna use just one uh, follow the order developer stop bath and fixing that's all just do not do anything different and then we need a mixer, chemical mixer. So this one is just one. And as always, just keep in mind that uh, use it uh, before to mix in the developer, then move it to the stops and then to the fixer. Uh, another item that we have inside is uh, this one, is the E435 film cassette opener. Uh, if you just don't find this kit and uh, you, you want to buy the item separately, this is not uh, uh, like so important. You can use uh, also a beer opener. Uh, it's just a harder, but it's possible. 
so but we have it uh, i develop a lot of films so i always try to have one because it's just easier for me um so for me it works but just keep in mind that you don't have to have it and then as a last item we have the chemicals this is really good that uh, actually the E4 uh, allows us to have uh, some chemicals. They are not enough, they are not so many to like uh, have uh, an idea if we are gonna like developing or not, but it's always a starting point. So as you can see we have four colors and each color is obviously one stock so we have the film developer the film stop bath and then the film fixer and as a last one uh, the film wetting agent i suggest you to see my other videos that i'm gonna put here in the info box where you can find all the specific for each single um, stock and see what are the properties but in this specific i want to say to you what uh, these chemicals are because obviously if you're gonna like it you can buy the big bottle from uh, Erfurt. so as a first one as we said we need the developer the film developer and this is uh, Erfurt Erfosol 3 and uh, the image on the back is said that it is working on 20 degrees then the second one is the stop bath uh, it always work at the same temperature so 20 degrees and this one is gonna be the ill for the ill for stop uh, then we have the fixer to preserve our image in the future it always work at 20 degrees and this is always the Ilford rapid fixer and then as last one we have the wetting agent uh, this one doesn't require any specific temperature and uh, the big bottle is gonna be the Ilfotol Ilford Ilfotol yeah so these are all the chemicals it's quite uh, uh, like complete I was really surprised when I saw that there was also the wetting agent because it's, it's not always sure that everybody are gonna use it so I was uh, happily surprised about it so uh, they're gonna say that uh, this is uh, a complete uh, starting kit starter kit but for me it's uh, not like that to be honest so first of all we are gonna miss uh, some scissor but everybody has some scissor in the house so that's not a, a problem i'm sure you're gonna have one we need it to cut the film from the road and also to cut the the film strips to put them on the sheet and uh, af after developing and drying the film uh, but I'm, I'm gonna show you now so uh, these are the sheet that I'm talking of uh, this is the ammo one uh, this was the longest piece ever to arrive as you can see these are just a simple paper um, negative uh, sleeves uh, we are gonna just put uh, our uh, uh, six frame strips uh, here and uh, these are specific for 35 millimeters because uh, I'm gonna develop in now 35 millimeters but if you're gonna need to develop like a medium format you just need something different and then as a last piece that for me is so important is the changing bag so the idea of the changing bag is just to uh, like uh, um, open your, your film case 
and move the film from the case to the tank and obviously you can understand how important it is to do this process completely in the darkness you should not have any kind of light anything even the phone one should be completely avoided uh, during this phase so i don't have any like storage room where there is no light infiltration in my house so the only way to move my film from the case to the tank would just to bind this so if you have a, a completely dark storage in your house you're, you don't have to buy these but for me it's not the case so this was another um, uh, important uh, element without uh, it I cannot develop any film it was really just time consuming and this is uh, the Patterson large version I already have it uh, in my previous uh, dark room and uh, I always thought that uh, it was uh, uh, easy to use, uh, it was uh, uh, enough uh, secure and uh, at the same time it was big enough to put uh, all the stuff that I need. So uh, you can even, if you think that maybe it's gonna be too big, just buy the smallest uh, version. So as a price uh, this one was uh, 25 pounds, the negative sleeves 15 pounds, but if you buy the smallest uh, uh, pack uh, you're gonna, it's gonna be even uh, less than this, maybe 10 or like 8 pounds, something like that. And then the 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 film processing starter kit was uh, 81 uh, pounds so the overall situation was 81 20 25 so it means that we are one six and then other 15 so we are uh, 121 pounds for buying all these uh, this stuff and I think this is uh, just uh, everything that you need to start uh, developing uh, your black and white films different is gonna be for color films you need uh, other equipments and um, you, they are also more expensive because they need uh, to control the temperature so strictly and uh, so the equipment is more precise and uh, obviously you're gonna pay more so I was just thinking to th spend some uh, hours during my quarantine and, uh, and I was thinking to start uh, with what was cheaper and so this is my solution I hope this video is gonna be helpful uh, let me know your opinion, let me know if you just require some more item or if you can or, or if you think that uh, my two more items uh, were just uh, a surplus and uh, now I'm gonna go and develop my film I'm really like uh, uh, excited because I'm two years without developing anything so uh, back in the day again. Um, I hope uh, I wish you I wish you all the best and uh, have a nice day and see you in the next video. Bye!